Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. Um, this is going to be a love reading for all Virgos. Welcome to my Virgo only channel. Um, this will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus now. Please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. Roles can be reversed. Um, and if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Okay, I do 30 minute or one hour phone call readings. Okay, all the information will be there once you click the link. Okay, so let's take a look, Virgo. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my videos and readings. I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you for all the support thus far. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look. Past energy, the Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. Oh, Knight of Cups, present energy, okay, Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, oh, <laughs> and the Queen of Swords, and the future, Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Magician, wow, all right, so let's see, Virgo, what's the message here, the past energy, a lot of communication, uh, between you and another person, okay? Um, somebody looks like uh, kind of a bit of a heartbreaker maybe you were dealing with. Um, looks like they, your person in the past uh, was cutting other people out of their life um, because they wanted to propose or uh, or they did propose or off, made an offer of some sort. Like it's almost as if I feel like your person um, knew that you were their love. Okay. Yep. Separation. This could be the one. Your person in the past separated themselves from other people. Okay. Or cut somebody out of their life or separated, divorced from someone. Um, because they, like you were it, they wanted to offer their love, or they did, okay? Um, I'm just gonna put these here for now before I move forward. Um, but let's get some clarifications and see. They, either they proposed marriage or they proposed something. They made some kind of a love offer to you in the past, okay? Um, let's take a look, the Eight of Wands is here, look. Coming towards you, this is what they wanted, okay? Love, support, marriage, um, contentment, family, happiness, joy, fulfillment. Look, here's the Eight of Wands again, cutting other people off or out of their life or, or a person to have this with you. The Eight of Wands is here twice. This person, my goodness, Virgo, um, I don't know who your person is. We do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, um, could be a Virgo, another Virgo, but it feels like your person was very intent, had good intentions towards you, and other people were trying to connect with them as well. Maybe they were receiving a lot, a lot of communication. Another other people or another person was just constantly after them, and it looks like they were just cutting. They cut that person or other people out. Look what look what he did. He took those three swords and broke those hearts, or broke somebody else's heart. You know, not interested. Didn't want to be with that person or other people. Knight of Cups here. They had a, their love. Their cup of love was only for you, and they knew it. And this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and that, and that but you guys might have separated as well okay Two, some of you they may have separated from someone in the past and that ended and came together with you wanted to be with you but then there may have been a separation in the past that you guys might not be communicating right now okay here's the moon okay why is the moon here Page of Pentacles, yeah. Um, they really weren't sure <laughs> why they were coming after you, why they wanted to be with you. 
the the eight of wands can very well be like cupid's arrows it could be infatuation there could have been infatuation and maybe for some of you you just were like no it's too much but i feel like they may have even made offers with that page of pentacles there to you know i don't want to say give you money for some of you maybe they did but their intentions they had these really great solid ideas and plans and they may have communicated that with you and things that they wanted with you and what they wanted to do and and the reason why i say there could have been a separation not only because that card is here but because in the present this person they have the five of pentacles and i believe in i don't know if it's I just recently saw this in that same position here, this Five of Pentacles. So this person is like really struggling. And I feel like if you, Virgo, were like, no, this is not going to work out, or you guys separated for whatever reason, let me see. Let me pull a clarification card. It's like they know that you're their person. They know that you, like, they don't have to seek and they don't want to seek anybody else. They, it's you they want to be with why if you guys if so spirit listen <laughs> let's get real here spirit if if virgo and virgo's person separated can you tell us why there was a separation hmm justice okay they're saying it's possible that it just seemed like the right thing to do i'm not really sure why can you tell us a little more? If they were right for each other, and it was like in this person, it, well, maybe there was influence from somebody else, or there was, oh, there could have been separation because you and this this person didn't, the, a divorce wasn't final, okay, for some of you. But I also do feel like, um, in other words, they were still married legally, okay? But they may have been in separation from their person, okay? And there was a lot of waiting, perhaps. Um, but this person was in the process of divorce. That's what I just heard. They were in the process of divorce. Let me see if there's anything else you can tell us. Yep, three of swords. Yep, 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 yep. And for, for some of you Virgos, you might have just said, okay, well, I'm not waiting. I can't. When you're ready, when it's final, let me know. Some of you did say that to your person because it might have been going on for a long time. And they were just constantly after you. And they definitely wanted to be with you. They definitely love you um, so much that they wanted, you know, either wanted to propose or they did propose or made some kind of offer, but they couldn't follow through with it because they had other stuff going on in the past. Okay. And either they told you or asked you to wait or they told you that that's what's going on and it's not time yet um, and then somebody ended it okay and now here's the struggle and this person like if you guys are not in communication I feel like your person if they're right now if you ended it and they're kind of like don't want to be lonely and they're resorting to talking to other people it's very well possible that that's not working out. It's a real struggle for them. If you are still in communication with this person, um, there's still a struggle with their ex, okay? Um, whether they're, you know, this ex is still in the energy field. That's what I feel. Okay, here's deception. Some of you might have ended it because you felt like you were being deceived in the past. Um, or you didn't believe that it was it was fully completed what was going on or that it wouldn't or you just kind of felt like okay well you know i don't know are you are you lying to me or just saying that are you just going to stay with your ex what's going on you know there's a lot of that energy here and then deception and honeymoon is playing out here right now someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship okay this feels like your person it's like they didn't want to lose you they wanted to hold on to you very tightly, but they, even if there wasn't a divorce or an ex, it's just that they weren't ready. It was more like when the time is right, the time just was not right for you two to come together, even though they felt very strongly like you're it for them. 
if you left Virgo, this person is like, they're, they're dealing with people who are very fake right now in their life. That's no one's like real solid. Okay, Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Five of Pentacles. So this person is struggling to get stable, to get back on, in like a secure position right now in their life. It could be financial too. They could be like broke or they can't afford their home or they're, they're having like some financial struggles and they're, they're trying really hard to um, hold on to their home or buy a new home or try to have like money in the bank or their things are depleted or somebody's stealing from them as well or it could be an ex. Let's take a look at this Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands with the Five of Wands. So if this is somebody else in their life, this person's given them a lot of backlash, okay? There's a lot of arguing and fighting. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but whomever it is. Okay, and who is this Queen of Swords here? Okay, I feel like that's you, Virgo. I feel like your person, like they really are trying to get away from somebody else from their past, and that person is still present in their life. Um, in a sense, it could be physically, it could be energetically, whichever it might be. Um, I feel like your person. I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They, they're still very smitten with you. So much so like they, there may be communication from them that they want to spend some time with you. Because I feel like there's two storylines here all attached to your person. There's you and then somebody else from whenever. You know, it doesn't have to be an ex, okay? It could be like a parent that has a very high influence on them. Okay, that's um, giving them a lot of pushback as well. It could be le legalities tied up with um, a family member or something that's preventing them from moving forward. There could be a child involved. Okay, so the future energy here is, okay, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate and attraction. So your person... Listen, Virgo, if you, if you let this person go, rightly so, because it looks like they have a lot of stuff, loose ends and things that they need to tie up, even though they feel that like there's nobody else for them but you, I feel like you're not willing to get yourself caught up in any kind of problems or issues like I, I feel Virgo you're very sensible and logical and down to earth and grounded and I feel like you're kind of in this place like look uh, yeah I love you too either it's now it's not the right time or you got to just go work out your business <laughs> or something like that because they're really going through a mess here so this ten of wands they come to the end of this burden right and it's going to happen like out of the blue Okay, um, the struggle is going to end like boom out of the blue. Five of Cups. Yeah, look, your person has a lot of grieving to go through as well. They've been carrying like such a heavy burden along with them for such a while. They're finally going to like, you know, when things don't work out in the past relationship, things come to an end your person in the future has just been pushing and pushing and pushing um and really i feel going forward like in the past never really dealing with losses or didn't really deal with a loss and in the future here finally it's gonna just all come crashing down like this they've overburdened themselves or put blockages in front of themselves and just so they wouldn't have to deal with grief or loss or remorse or regret or anything like that from a past thing. And maybe they were just like, oh, I'm, I can't deal with that right now. I'm too busy. Or I got a lot, all this work to do. I have all these sticks I got to carry all the way across. I feel I don't have time to be thinking about my feelings and, and grieving and emotions. But, you know, guess what? <laughs> That, that builds and builds and builds and builds until boom, the, the, the top comes off. You know what I mean? Like 
this is like the crown chakra, you know, this is like wisdom, some spiritual insight, you know, comes down this person, lightning strikes, not once, but twice. <laughs> I'm just quoting a Stevie Nicks song, but uh, lightning strikes. And then like this person has no other choice but to grieve and to let go, okay? I feel like for some, your person might have been trying to keep two relationships, a past relationship going and, and yours, okay? Um, it's kind of like juggling a little bit, like, like, like you were there and then the other, they were in transition and they weren't really managing this situation very well, okay? Um, they couldn't, they were done with the past person. They couldn't make that work. They didn't know how to make that work. And then with you, they wanted to be with you, but they didn't know how to make that work either. Now that past person, like I said, I feel like your person, I'm just seeing this tug of war and they were right in the middle. And, and you were like, come this way. And the other person was like, no, go back that way. This person, I see letting go here. And I see healing, recovery. <laughs> recovery, right? Because that comes after the three of swords. Healing from this energy. From some kind of heartbreak or healing from, because this is third party as well. Right? So whether that person was like in their life physically or it was just like a very long time ago that there was an ex uh, as i was saying to uh, lucy the other day a phantom ex could have been um that kind of thing floating around <laughs> hi Luce. i'm sure you're listening <laughs> um yep there's the emperor the emperor gets a new pair of shoes doesn't he look healing Imagine, imagine that. Imagine when a little bit of therapy, counseling, dealing with your feelings and healing can do, brings you right back up to being in boss position. You know, the emperor coming back into like a leadership role, a father figure, um, coming back or, or being in a position of like, it's the ego is, the ego is busted. The emperor in the reverse, is very egotistical, narcissistic, but in the upright, he's a good guy, male or female, okay? But this right here, that that lightning strike, that bolt to the crown chakra, that's like, pew. Um, I had a story once, when I was in my 20s, I was walking with two of my guy friends, and we were walking alongside a house, and um, we have these meters that, they're like glass, metal containers that stick, they jut out from the side of the house. And that's where you can get the meter reading for electric, whatever, it was sticking out the side of the house. I didn't see it. And I walked right into it, hit my head, went back down onto the ground. And I, I was so like, oh, it didn't really hurt, but I was really like, oh my gosh, like humiliated. And one of the guys came down, he's like, oh my God, are you okay? And the other guy said, oh, she's fine. It's just her ego that came crashing down. It's just her ego that hurts. <laughs> And that's what that is right there. You know, this person may have had like an ego thing going on as well. And I don't know, lightning comes down and like breaks them up, breaks it up, breaks up that ego. And then the emperor comes, that's Aries energy. And now this person gets that healing going forward in the future and they know what they need to do. And what do they do? They start manifesting and laying their cards out on the table and and being focused with what they want that you're able to be focused because there's no distractions okay and um that's the soulmate attraction this person is like insanely attracted to you nothing about that will ever change um and i just feel like with this this magician energy here it's like time to like really make some magic happen here with virgo or, or end in their life like starting over okay there's the four of swords again healed coming from a place of rest and renewal let's get a clarity card for the emperor yep leaving the past behind and taking this journey withdrawing from all the drama and the chaos you know this person gets into like how can i say this whatever they were chasing, whatever they were in transition, like it comes to an end going forward for this person. They know what they need to do. 
okay? Because I feel like in the present, they're just there's a lot of deception, there's a lot of pushback, there's a lot of struggle. Yet they still want to, they're still like into you. They still want to like connect with you and all, um, but they have a lot of stuff going on in their life still. I feel like in the future, that soulmate energy, you know, I, I feel like things change for them. Okay, they they kind of have. Sometimes when I look at the tower, you know, it can be unwanted change. And in the case of this person's ego, they probably felt safer in their ego. But, you know, <laughs> spirit has a way of changing things in people. You know what I mean? I kind of like just feel that Scrooge story. You know how Scrooge was? The Christmas Carol, you know how Scrooge was? And then the spirits came and showed him his life. Yeah, that's what's going on here. Um, all right. You are the best thing in my life. That's part of that wake up call here. Okay. They know it. They have known it. And whatever they have going on in their life at this time, if they're talking to other people or trying to make things work with other people, it's like they're just deceiving themselves here. Because they don't know what else to do. Don't know what else to do. Intuition. Yep, they already know. You already know the answer you seek. Look. <laughs> I love when the cards come out and just clarify. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. <laughs> they already know that you're the one for them. So, you know, Virgo, you're just like, yeah, I know. I know that. I know that. They're the one for me, and I know that they know it. But what are you going to do? You can't twist any arms. You, you're just like, uh, just go do your thing. You'll figure it out someday. And if you don't, well, I mean, what do you want me to do? I guess that's your loss, you know? But I don't feel like there's going to be loss here. I feel like your person has some kind of like big fat wake up that just comes down like a bolt of lightning from heaven. <laughs> Let's see. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know what? <laughs> I got to say this. I feel like your person, they've been leaning on their inner circle all right, but these aren't their inner circle people. Now, these might be like people that they thought that there could be like, oh, if I just date a whole bunch of other people, you know, and not have to deal with my problems or myself, then, um, you know, I'll get the support I need, but I don't feel like your person gets the support that they need, really. But they love you unconditionally. There's no doubt in my mind that this person truly loves you. Wait, the timing's not right. Okay. That, really, this is what all this is about. It's really, it just feels like it was bad timing. It's like two of the right, two right people who both meet at the wrong time. They stay awake thinking about you still. And you guys will be married. Going forward, yes, there will be marriage. It's coming with this person. They want to marry you. They believe that it is moving towards that. But the way it's moving is like really, it's real tough. It's real tough with them. And it's real tough for you. But I mean, Virgo, you're just kind of like, well, I, I just pick up your energy here, you know. You don't want to be stuck in any kind of deceptions or false masks. You want truth. You know that this person's your soulmate. They know it. You know, um, you want to spend some time with them. They want to spend time with you. But this person, you know, they want to jump into this honeymoon phase. Just be careful with that. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that that's like enjoying the bliss of time together is great. But I feel like for you, Virgo, you know, I just kind of feel like, well, that's you're deceiving us because you want to jump into this honeymoon thing. But meanwhile, you still have there's other third party interference in this connection. And I just don't I don't feel like you're gaslighting yourself about anything. They might be because they're really excited about you. You know, maybe this person, uh, some of you might have gotten involved with this person while they were married and you both fell in love with each other and now and maybe you were single or what or just you know out of something you know whatever or they were in a relationship whatever the situation is but like they're still they're still attached to somebody i don't know specifically what your story is but whoever they're still attached to still has influence 
on their life and the decisions that they've been making. Okay. All right. Two cards here. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Virgo, have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. And you have three of earth. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest. So focus on your craft. Focus on your work. Focus on what you're creating and building in your life at this time. Um, don't lose don't lose your direction, okay, if you're going through something that's difficult with this person. But also have your boundaries, Virgo. Um, keep that going, okay. Um, that's seven of wands. It's like, that's kind of like protecting yourself. And then you have the six of wands, victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Some of you are going to be receiving um, some recognition, promotions, award, maybe even a scholarship. Okay, but this is a card of victory. Look, <laughs> and I see them both this way. Look, stand up for yourself. Do what's right for yourself. You will be the winner in the end, Virgo. You will be the winner in the end here, whether it's with this person or not. Because you're, if you're going to walk out of this relationship or it's not going to work out, at least you're going to leave with your integrity intact and your dignity. And that's, you know, you love them. You do. And you love them enough to let them go. And the old saying is, you know, if you love someone, let them go. And if they come back, they're yours. And if they didn't, it wasn't meant to be. And I feel it is meant to be. And I feel it's just divine timing. But at the same time, redirect your focus and your energy into other priorities in your life at this time okay and let them go through whatever they need to go through and that's it all right Virgo love you guys I will see you really soon don't forget to hit like share and subscribe bye